King's School here in Parramatta is rugby union through and through. But they've also produced two of the brightest young prospects in the NRL, Will Panasini and Joseph Suwali. They were best mates in high school and still are today. This afternoon, they'll go head to head for the first time. So I met, I met Will when I was in year four, he was year five. He was a big fat kid when he was younger, so he was big, like chubby. Uh, he played in the, I played second row and obviously I was, a, I was a skinny winger. I played a lot of school footy with him um, back at Kings. I think almost every home game, the whole school has to come, so it's kind of exciting. At Kings, you get a big crowd there when you're playing there, it's kind of like playing like an NRL match, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, we just click together, we always joke around all the time. Playing outside of him, it kind of gives you that confidence to do what you need to do because you know you've got someone inside you that's going to do his job. Played schoolboy rugby union with Joseph Sawali. So we spent a lot of time like doing extras together, just learning off him when I was younger, like helped me big time. Yeah, he's real footy smart, how he moves around the field, how he flicks the ball, how he fends or something like that. So yeah, you could always pick up something from someone like Will. Knowing Joseph for a long time, he's, he's very disciplined. I kind of learned a bit from him. He was always a strong, like, yeah, very strong, powerful, just hard to get to the ground kind of kind of player. Um, yeah, very explosive. Biceps and massive legs are kind of the, big, the biggest legs in the game, I reckon. So, no, he's a, yeah, he's a specimen. Penasini! He's a special player. Suwali! Here comes Suwali! For Joseph, he hates losing when it comes to eating or playing games. It doesn't matter what it is, but he just hates losing. I would try to win everything by probably cheating a bit more because he was a bit more athletic. Than me, but as soon as I won something, I always give it to him and I always reminded him about it. I just hate to lose, so yeah, I've always had that. Yeah, just always, want, everything I wanted to do was just win, so kind of a sore loser. <laughs> I've always been competitive, he's always been competitive, so like it's a team game at the end of the day on Sunday, but there's always that individual battle too, so yeah, see what happens. What a matchup! What a build up! Because we used to always talk about it, like how cool it would be to play in the NRL. Like, yeah, I think on Sunday it'll be yeah, it'll be special. I still remember at lunch times we just sit there and just talk about like imagine playing against each other or imagine playing at that level. So it'll be kind of like a yeah, dream come true. We've seen we reversing each other in Magic Round, and I didn't know what position he was going to play. If he was going to play centre or wing or which side. Friends off the field, but on the field it has to be a different story. And then hopefully he skips across so I can take his head off. <laughs> nah, no. no, I won't be looking for him obviously because he's a big dude. Like, I don't want to be running into him. <laughs> Whoever wins will probably give it to the other person. Opposition is opposition, so well, obviously we was there playing. Like one of my best mates. We'll hug it out after the game, but I watch from the field. Game time.